Hey guys, it's Raya from Raya's Tie-Dye and today I'm going to show you how to tie-dye a beautiful mandala tapestry. Now I have done plenty of these, however we are going to ice dye this one because it's been a little while and it's going to be super cool. We're using Grateful and Dharma dyes and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing because we do tie-dye everything. So if I haven't tie-dyed yet, I assure you that I will. So let's get to it. All right, so this is a 58 inch by 58 inch tapestry. So to get your fold, you're gonna fold it in half. I just grab the corner loops here, match them up. This is 100% cotton. And then fold in half again, I know you can't really see that but fold in half and then fold in half again and then straighten everything out that you have to straighten out and get all of your wrinkles out all right so the very center of the tapestry is right here so we're just actually going to turn that So the first thing you gotta do is grab the corner. Right here, there's two folds in here. You can see that the side has none. It's just got the one that's all together. So we're gonna take this corner and I hold the very bottom, which is the middle of the mandala. Fold it back all the way, line it up so that it's a triangle. And then I'm going to pick it up from the very bottom and I'm going to grab all the fabric together, pick it up so it kind of looks like a dog bandana, I guess you could say. Line all of those up, flatten them out, any wrinkles, get rid of them. And then we're going to fold back again. Make a triangle. Flatten it out. And then we're going to grab the center again. Try to grab all the fabric. And there is that. So this is going to be your main fold for your, any kind of mandala. You can fold it however you want to, but this is how I always do it. Now it's ready for any of your marker lines that you wanna make to do. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use sinew. Um, so we're gonna draw a design on here that's gonna go throughout the whole tapestry. So it'll be repeated multiple times to make a mandala. So now, we're going to get out our marker and draw what we want to be on the tapestry. I have a red washable marker right here. It's very old looking because it's been used for a long time. So we're going to start at the very bottom. And I always do this in the center. So I always do my zigzags. Um, for some reason, I feel like that should be in the middle all the time. It's not the case. You can do whatever you want, but I always start out with a straight line across. Now that'll make a circle in the middle. And then I do zigzag up, another zigzag, another zigzag. And then I'm gonna do one curved zigzag and we'll make it two. So now I have a straight line across, three zigzags and two curved ones. And then because a lot of the folds are on this side, I'm gonna do a big teardrop 
there. And then we want something to kind of go around this teardrop. So I think it'd be cool if we do like a pointed kind of star looking thing. So we're gonna come down and maybe come back up a little bit. So then when you open that, it should be a bunch of those. So it should make like, almost like it's going around the teardrop. And then I think I'm gonna do an upside down teardrop on this side. So we'll go out and up. And then I'm going to do a heart there. And then I only have about this much space, which is probably about three inches. So the corners have room for other things that you wanna do. So right here is where all the fabric is. And then right here where it ends is where only the corners are. So if you want a specific design to be shown through the whole thing, you wanna make sure it's within your fabric that's all together, which if that makes sense. This is all the corners and this right here is where it ends basically. So if you want any other design in there, you have to get it in there before you hit the edge. I should say that. <laughs> so I'm going to do a wavy, let's see. I told you I'm winging this, so bear with me because <laughs> this is going to be cool. I just want to make sure it's not anything that I've done before because then it would be weird that, that I'm posting the same video as something I already did. So I'm actually going to start here and I'm going to come down and then curve out. So now I'm going to have that curve. And then this area, you can add more to that if you want to. Um, it's gonna be in there, but it's not gonna be in there as many times as all this stuff is gonna be in there. Because if you see that, like I said, these are all just corners. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna scrunch all of that and maybe mix a lot of colors in that scrunch part. So now, I am going to use sinew because I have not used sinew in the last couple of videos. And that's it. Sinew and scissors is what you're going to need until you get to your dyeing part. So we're going to make a slip knot here. And then we're going to start at the bottom, go up through the top. So this is thick because of all the folds that we have in here but you just try to work with it and it might take you a couple tries if you have to try again, try again. But like this marker, I know it might not do it to me, but normally it comes off on my fingers and then I get it all over the place. It's washable, so it's not that big of a deal. So we're gonna do this first one. You're not gonna be able to pleat fold some of these. It's gonna be really hard to do, so just all the tiny spots you can pretty much do without it. So just put it on there, wrap it around three times, put your hand down on it, and I'm just gonna roll this up a little more so I'm not pulling way back to my living room. <laughs> and then pull tight, it is wax um, string basically, so it's gonna hold itself. So now my sinew is underneath this way. So I'm gonna actually pull it up so it's underneath this line. And I'm gonna fold this line so that it matches up where I want it to. So it's not pleat folded, like I said, cause it's really thick and tiny. So I'm just getting it so that I can get a good sinew path I guess you can say. So I'm already wrapping it three times because I already did the ones down here and I'm going to try really hard to do continuous which probably isn't going to happen but we're, we're going to try. It's easier for your reveal part. 
So then put your hand down on it so you got a hold on it and pull. So that that's actually lined up with my my marker pretty good. And then move it over. We're going to do the same thing. So this is where it's going to start folding up on you. So it'll be a little tad harder on you. But if you can match your marker lines, you're going to be golden. So I am just putting this around again and I'm trying to get it as close as as close to the other sinew as possible. So when you open this part, it'll kind of look like a flower. So I'm going to pull it this way and pull the sinew tight. So I pull super hard so I can get those white lines in there. Um, be careful not to pull it towards your face because this can snap. It's very hard. I think I've only snapped mine one time. This is really good sinew. So I've only snapped mine once. Um, luckily I didn't hit myself in the face, but I've heard of people doing that, hitting themselves in the face. That does not sound like a good time. Um, I have snapped my kite string a couple times, but like I said, I've been, I pull back so that it's, there's nothing I can hit behind me. So we'll do the same thing here. It'll pretty much be the same thing throughout the rest of the tapestry. This pulling and wrapping three times, I do that literally with everything. So make sure your sinew all matches because if you have three lines that aren't on top of each other, you're going to get three separate lines next to each other. It'll be weird, but also probably cool. All right. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do continuous sinew throughout the whole thing. So we're going to cut that so that we have this little guy here that we can unravel that whole part with. And then we're just going to go from down up and do this teardrop. Try to pleat fold that the best you can. But before I do that, we're going to do the slip knot again so I can have it ready try to make out the hole pretty big so that it's ready to go but we're going to start down here and try to match your marker if you have to turn your tapestry do it up to the part that's kind of going to look like a star. So I guess it's going to look like a star, not like an actual five pointed star, because that's not going to happen, but not in this tapestry anyways. So we're going to do the same thing. Every part of this, I'm going to do sinew. I don't think rubber bands are going to do very good with a tapestry just because it's so thick. I actually tried to do the rubber bands in the shower curtain and I kind of wish I didn't because I think it would have been a lot cooler. 
But back then, I didn't even try to use sinew, so. All right, so just to show you, you can see on a couple of these folds that the fabric inched out from where I pulled really hard. If that is a big deal to you, you'll just have to fix it so that your sinew will go with those lines. But because it's so thick, if you're using sinew, th this is gonna happen to you a lot. So this one's not far off, that one's super far off, and that one's super far off. However, they're not really gonna be that far off when you open them up. So like I said, if it really <clears throat> matters to you that much that it's exactly the way that you drew it, you'll have to try again and go back and do it again. This was a random mandala anyways, so I think either way, these designs are gonna be super awesome. So for the rest of the tapestry, we are just going to scrunch it up. So I'm gonna get out some rubber bands and I'm just gonna grab a bunch of different kinds just in case depending on how thick it is and how much is in there. So I am just going to scrunch it together. And then we're gonna put rubber bands all over it. And I'll probably put a couple of different colors on it to give it different textures. But because we're doing ice dye, there's gonna be a lot of different texture anyway, so that's a good thing. See if this stays on here, maybe not. So you can use as many rubber bands or you can use kite string because kite string would work too. I just want to hold all of this in and I don't want to, because you could dye it with it just laying flat like that, but I find that you use a lot more dye that way and for no reason. So you'll get a better texture out of it and you're not using up all your dye on a background. All right, so this is gonna be our mandala and it's ready to be dyed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our powder dye. By the way, everything is in the descriptions below. So all my links for Amazon, wherever I get my stuff. Um, I have been buying my dye from Dharma Trading Company and from Grateful Dyes. So you can check both of those places out. Everything else is mainly Amazon. So if you need sinew, kite string, rubber bands, tapestries, clothing, the face masks, by the way, are down in there too. So if you need face masks, face masks to tie dye they are also down there so check all of that out and this is ready to dye
All right, so this me and Dala used kind of random colors, but I will tell you what I picked. I had lavender from Grateful Dye in the center part with red violet from Dharma Dye. Then I went to seashell blue from Grateful Dye. Then I have hot pink from Dharma. I have sea green from Grateful Dye, yellow from Dharma, turquoise from Dharma, and then more yellow and hot pink back here. So I just kind of scattered them all. Um, I tried to put one color in each position except for the corners that is sprinkled with yellow and um, pink in random spots. So it should have orange in it too by the time it's all melted. So we're going to leave this for 24 hours. Uh, let the ice melt if they're, the bottom kind of still looks too white or not enough dye in it. I would add either just more ice or you can add more dye and more ice. Um, I normally only add more ice and then I would still open it within the 24 hours that you originally did it and then rinse it until the water is clear and we can do our reveal. So um, you have to be patient so let it sit for 24 hours. Just set an alarm on your phone and go do something else so you don't try to open it too soon. Hey guys, so we got the reveal for our ice dye mandala, which is one of many that we have done, but not really ice dye. We've done a lot of liquid dye ones, but this one is very different because I use a lot more colors than normal. And so if you can see in the end here, there's yellow and I used hot pink, but it mixed with the yellow, which is what I wanted. So it kind of looks red and orange all over. And then we have sea green in here with turquoise on the side, yellow on the side, and then up here is seashell blue with pink, which is also mixing with the blue, which looks awesome. And then we have red violet and lavender for the middle of the mandala. So part of this did kind of sink into some muck. So there will be some random spots that probably look brown or dark. Not very many. I think probably two spots, maybe tops but I'm loving the sea green color because it's really pretty. Have a lot of sinew as always. Look at that. Figure out which way this goes. Also, you guys, you have time for, you still have time for the comment shout out. Um, this is the last video of this week, so we will be announcing a comment shout out winner in a video next week, and then the week after that we will be doing the video for that suggestion, so just comment something. And if you haven't won, which we've only done it once, and you have commented before, don't be afraid to resubmit that comment in one of these videos so that we you still have another chance to be shouted out so we can do that video for you look at that holy moly sinew everywhere Oh my lord. Wow. This part sucks. There we go. Okay, so. Ice dye. Mandala. Tapestry. Ooh, that's pretty. Woo! 
That's super pretty. I love all the colors and the ice dye makes it look that much cooler everywhere. I got my teardrops in there. I got a couple stars. This is a winner. So if you are interested in not, you know, making your own, but maybe you want to buy one, this will be posted on Etsy available for purchase. So I do have Etsy link in my channel art and in the description below. So check that out. And don't forget to do the comment shout out. And if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do because I would love to have you and we can do a lot of new different stuff. Like pretty soon we will be doing a cross body bag and lots of other stuff.